but Richard won't be revealing what he thinks until he's tried all three dishes. And Derek still hasn't cooked his fish. Derek's dish is next. Can he pull this off? He wraps his poached crab and seaweed mousse in more seaweed, rolls it in his black sole fillets and gets them into the water bath to cook, while he prepares his final two accompaniments, an oyster vinaigrette, which he blitzes up with rapeseed oil, and a fennel salad, which he backpacks first. I'm just going to decompress the uh, fennel. I'm going to break down the cell wall. I'm going to get the, the, the flavours of olive oil in there without cooking it. Well, lots of the guys are saying mine's a bit chefy. Or chefs. It's just another one of those techniques that so-called chefy chefs do. Finally, with his many chefy elements ready to go, Derek slices his cooked sole fillets and puts them on the plate with a squirt of his siphoned samphire mousse, some compressed fennel salad, the oyster vinaigrette, and his crowning glory, the dehydrated smoked salmon. Derek, the proof's in the eating. Can you bring it to the tasting room? Yes. Please. There's a lot here again. Not going on, yeah, again, yeah. yeah, yeah. Does it all work together? That's the key. It's contemporary, yes. modern, light. It's not my idea of Dover Soul now. No. Is it a dish for the royal banquet? That's that's the key. I think so. The, the, the people are coming here, traveling long distances. They're coming to a beautiful shrine. And you get coming like the Prince of Wales, and you, you, you expect the food to be up to uh, up to standard. I but think they're, they're coming to get fed. They're coming to get fed. Yeah. And is there is there enough food on that place? Again, it's a balanced menu. You're, you're going to eat it. You're, you're not going to feel, God, I can't believe I've got another two courses to go. If I got that there at a banquet, I, I would look at it and think it's interesting, but it would get, I would just, Has to me, it's all about the flavour. They're very, very soft. There's nothing really kicking out of it for a second course. The dehydrated salmon. There's a smile in your face. The dehydrated salmon yeah. needed probably our five, to be honest. But ultimately, the flavour's there. Yeah. What's your verdict on the salmon you bought didn't over, get it, Didn't get it at all. Can cooks be too clever sometimes, Derek? I, I don't think I'm being too clever here. I, I think I'm just, you know, I've taken different produce from the coast and I've twisted them around a wee bit, but they're all classical flavours. And he's, he's put so much thought into it mm -hmm. that he's lost the concept of a beautiful fish and an amazing crab. I don't know, I understand what you're saying. It's visual, it's got contrast, it's got interest. Is it going to stop a conversation? I would say yes, it is. <laughs>